Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? EXO coming at you here, feeling real good today with an extra sun shining day. Holy crap, the camera doesn't even know what to do with itself overexposing. So since the weather's so good, let's go do some basin down at the secret spot with our new 12-inch subwoofer that we picked up from Showtime Electronics. You guys asked for a full lengther of the i-series 12 from incriminator and it's doing great in the trunk of this toyota so let's go down and do some basin testing and tuning and by the end of this video do some jumping with our fifth scale 8s remote control car since the secret spot has all sorts of good jumps we'll make today a nice twofer with some basin and some bashing thanks for watching the youtube video guys let's get into it I gotta be honest, I find it pretty heartwarming that deep down inside, I'm still just a kid at heart playing with all the things that made me so happy growing up. RC cars and speakers, everything just got bigger and louder, but I gotta admit, it makes me really happy. Meet you at the secret spot. All right, here we are at the secret spot, and I figured we'll get this party started by first testing the sub's RMS wattage. On the spec sheet, it says 500 watts RMS. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for a whole duration of a whole song. Just pick a random one and push play and see how she fares temp-wise. Now, I'm kicking myself in the butt because I forgot my infrared temp sensor, so we'll have to do the bacon biscuit tests with the back of the knuckles. And to get the job done, we're gonna be using this good old SMD multimeter. You can pretty much find these anywhere, including Showtime, but it will essentially display the wattage in real time so we can see both the sub and the meter doing their things all at once. I'm gonna take the truck out while we're jamming and place it up on top of the trunk lid so that might be give us a nice cool looking shot on the outside. So let's get this thing ripping. All right, here we go. Sorry about the lighting, it's really bright today.
relaxing beats right there. I like how it gets nice and groovy. I think that's the end of the song. Three minutes and ten seconds there. Let me go ahead and push pause before it's on repeat. So there we go. We were definitely averaging over 500 watts. You can see the meters resetting there. We were having peaks even much higher than that. And let's go ahead and do the bacon biscuits test. Informal back of the hand. Oh, that's not bad. Obviously, there is heat generated there, but that's really not bad, especially for the amplifier that we have mounted on the top deck. It's an NVX amplifier, and it's, you know, doing pretty good for what it is. But here we go, guys. The Incriminator I series over there from Showtime doing real good for the RMS wattage test over a whole song. So let's go ahead and really get our legs stretching with a little bit of excursion. We'll scrub some numbers over here with our app. We'll start at 24 because this box that's we don't want to go much lower than that let's just put it that way we'll go ahead and crank our volume and really get her stretching just so we can see what she looks like on camera everybody loves a good old bit of excursion don't they It's so much fun. So yeah, she she likes stretching down low. That's for dang sure. Even in this box, which definitely wasn't designed for it, I'm very surprised. It has a resonance, like a peak down low and in the mid range around where, you know, 45 hertz range. So it's a pretty decent box overall. And that's what essentially makes or breaks a sub. You can have the best sub in the world and have it just totally tank as far as your expectations go. And speaking of better results, you guys in the comments are always giving me grief for the way I have my box positioned in my trunk because, oh, everybody knows that when you have your sub face toward the rear or at least have your port oriented toward the rear, you can get a little bit louder. So that's what we're gonna do right now for the maximum SPL test, even though the other day we did it in the position it's in right now. And we managed to get like the loudest SPL score in that box watt per watt so i'm pretty impressed with this thing here's that little amplifier i was telling you about little tiny thing but it's doing the job today we'll be measuring how loud we are with our cell phone paired to this little sensor meter right here it's a apm2 it's about 400 bucks and you pair it to your cell phone it's not just your cell phone so let's grab our cell phone here and go up back and scrunch ourselves i'm trying my best to get everything in view we got the meter both meters down there and my base knob in my hand down at the bottom of the screen let's go ahead and hammer do about a three three to four second burp and it, keep, it kept gaining there at the end, 143.2. I think that's a whole decibel louder than before just from going and angling the port into the trunk. It's amazing what box placement does, but this is my grocery getter. I don't wanna have to have a big old snangle dangle in there, so I keep everything nice and snug to the front. And even though it was louder, it required slightly less power to do so. 463 watts, still maintaining SPL, nice little efficient sub. And to boot, they're going on sale right now over at Showtime Electronics. 150 bucks right now, you can't beat it. And you saw it's definitely a contender that was on the dash score SPL. So be sure to check out the links in the description if you're interested in checking out this good old iSeries. But it wouldn't be an official EXO video if we didn't do something crazy, right? We're gonna go ahead and see if we can do some flexing on this little RC car. It may be pretty anticlimactic, but I, I don't know. I just wanna see if, if it looks like the truck itself is flexing. Like it has its own little sound system and subs all inside the shell. I mean, I, I, I it's probably not going to be very exciting, guys. But it may move. It may look. Uh, yeah. It looks like that second skin is doing its job. Oh my gosh! Fail. Ultimate fail. 
Oh gosh. What do you expect, right? I mean, come on now. You got friggin' all that sound deadening on the trunk lid. You can't really expect it to be moving this fifth scale RC car all that much. But what do you say? Let's go ahead and pop the trunk and get a closer look at the star of the show just for one final look at the sub. All right, there she comes tumbling down. And here she is in all her glory, 25 pounds of base head fun doing just the trick for me. And I can see probably a couple people nitpicking at the fact that it has the steel basket. But remember, this is a budget sub. The four spoke there is actually pretty thick, pretty solid compared to other stamp steel. And that ringy sound is nowhere to be found. And I must give them a nice nod in their direction for the motor cooling. You can see these holes that are actually designed into the motor itself. That's to cool the gap inside where the voice coil is to push air and suck air through those holes. They just upgraded this motor from the V1s, which the V1s are going for 80 bucks. These are the version twos. We got a 2.5 inch aluminum voice coil and it does just the trick as you saw in this video for maintaining its rated power. So overall, I gotta say, I do like this sub. It's nice and lightweight. It gets the job done. And like I mentioned before, it's actually the loudest sub I've tested in this box, but that may be just because it was like a perfect volume port combination for the size of this sub, because it's actually a little bit smaller than ones I've tested before. So maybe that extra box volume with less subwoofer displacement helped me gain a little bit of SPL. Who knows? I am really impressed with the iSeries 12. Now let's see how impressed we can get with this nice 8S lithium monster. That's right, eight lithium cells in series. That is a whole lot of power. We got nine amp hour cells in there. So let's go ahead and end this video off. We, you know, the incriminator sub did it awesome. You guys are gonna check it out at Showtime, help the EXO channels. So now let's wrap it up with some ultra fun bashing right down there. Oh, that spot, let's go tear it up. Dang! Dang! That was the best one of all time. Oh, what satisfaction. Wow! You guys, I'm getting too excited about this. I'm really getting almost to the end of the hill. I gotta be careful. Oh, wow. Let's do it again. Oh my God, jumped the whole hill pretty much. Literally, I think I just jumped the whole hill. <laughs> oh wow, this thing is, uh, I absolutely love this truck. I love this truck so much. Oh yeah, baby. That was the whole hill. You got a little straggler in the front. You growing some trees there, Ada's? Oh man, that was awesome. So until the next video, guys, I hope you are down for the count and uh, check out the little links in the description to help support the channel. Thank you for being here. And as always, stay loud and stay proud and check out some Showtime fun. I'll talk to you in the next one.